Okay, hi folks, I'm back. I still got my nice little uh, Irish cream coffee here. I'm gonna finish up. Mm. It's pretty warm, I had to put it back in the nuker. Anyway, let's get our meat in the pot right now. So here I've got my, um, my Dutch oven and I'm gonna turn it on to high, which is, you know, like an eight or nine if you have numbers. And I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil into my pot. I don't know how much that is. I just eyeball a lot of the time, folks. I try not to measure things like oil. And I've got my meat. So first I wanna get my oil a little bit warm. I don't know why. I guess I just feel like I should put um, my meat into warm oil instead of cold. I don't think it really matters. So just give it a second or two. I've been chopping away over there next door and I've got almost everything chopped here. Let me grab some so I can show you. So here's my carrots and my celery, which I'm gonna add later after I take my beef out of the stock pot. Or the Dutch oven, I should say, whatever you wanna call it. But anyway, look at my carrot sizes. See, I've cut them pretty small because carrots take a lot longer to cook than potatoes. So I wanna make sure they're small enough so they cook pretty quickly. And uh, same with my celery, so that's kind of small. So I've got that done and then in another bowl, because it didn't all fit, I've got my potatoes. I decided to go down to three potatoes instead of six because if you use too many potatoes, it gets really mushy and then it's just not a good soup anymore. So I've got my potatoes cut, again, kind of bite-sized pieces. These are gonna cook up really, really super fast. So um, I've got those and I've still gotta cut some onion and a couple more celery to put in there. Um, so while my oil's heating up, and be careful, you don't want to leave your oil too long, folks, because, uh, oops, that's kind of harsh light there. Oh, my goodness. Because um, I think that's too harsh a light. Let me turn that off. Okay. That's too dark. <laughs> oh, boy. That's perfect. Okay, so um, don't leave your Dutch oven. It heats up really, really fast. But while it's heating up, let's go ahead and get the rest of these chopped. So here's my celery. I'm going to chop them together, two pieces. <clears throat> and uh, it's getting close to the time where I really need some wine. The hubs came home, and he was seasoning up our new cast iron skillet. So if you guys like to cook in a cast iron skillet, be sure and season yours really, really well. Now, when I cut my celery, I just cut to about right there. I don't, I don't want this part. That's garbage. Garbage. So anyway, I've got some soul tunes playing on the, on the radio right now. I'm listening to some Etta James at last. It's kind of a perfect for today, which the weather has increasingly got bad, worse, I should say. So anyway, so there's my uh, celery, and then here's my last potato. This will be a total of three instead of six, and I. Uh, I'm just, again, just bite-sized pieces, folks. bite size. Now, I should probably go over there and check my oil because, oh. I think it's ready for the beef. It's pretty warm. So, let's go ahead and move back on over here. I might have to turn the light off again. Yep, see, the lights are too bright. Anyway, but we're just gonna try to I guess my head can cover it. Let's get our beef in right away. So I'm just gonna plop the whole thing in to the olive oil that's nice and heated up. And then I'm gonna break it up and I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper, okay? That's a terrible lighting. Let me turn that light off. Crazy stuff going on in here. Oh, it's too dark again. There we go. Ah. But I want you guys to see what's going in the pot. So let's get me back. I think I'm here. Oops. Maybe it's up here. Who knows? There you go. Now you can see me breaking up my meat, I think. There we go. So anyway... Hopefully that won't fall. Okay, I need a cameraman eventually. So I'm going to go ahead and break up my meat. It's on high right now. I'm going to turn it down to medium high because I don't, I just want to brown my meat. I don't want to overcook my meat. I'm going to brown it in the olive oil. I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. 
and then after it's nice and brown, I'm going to remove it and put it on a plate or put it in a bowl. And uh, I'm going to reserve all the flavor that's in here. Now you might have to remove some of the oil depending on how much grease it renders. This is a very lean piece of beef. This hamburger is like probably 90%, so I'm not expecting it to render a whole lot of fat. That's why I added the olive oil. I don't know, my grinder, there we go. It wouldn't grind. Okay, now we're grinding. We're grinding. Okay, anyway, enough of that. So, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and brown our meat. And again, when you cook with the Dutch oven, it cooks really, really super fast. I bought my son one of these years ago. I don't know if it made it through all his many moves, but anyway, they're a really great pot to cook stuff in. It heats evenly, and as I've said before in other shows, it can go right from the stovetop into the oven, which is fantastic. So I'm just breaking up my meat right now. You guys can probably see what's going on in here. And then uh, we're gonna get it nice and brown. I'll grab a plate and put it on there and see if I need to drain any of the juice out of it. But maybe not. So there we go. Don't fall, phone. I'm always afraid my phone's gonna fall into the pot. That wouldn't be, that wouldn't be tasty. That would be a tragedy, because I'd have to buy a new phone and it would ruin my meal. Okay, so you got your fire on medium high browning your meat. And while this is going on, I'm going to finish chopping while checking my meat frequently. So I'll let that brown. It's going to take a few minutes. This is about a pound and a quarter of meat. I was going to reserve a little bit for Brenda Lee because, you know, she just loves hamburger. So, I'll probably take some out and give her her portion, and then I'll put the rest back in the cheeseburger soup. So, I'm going to pause, and I'll get back over to the chopping station. We'll finish chopping everything up, and then we'll start uh, putting our soup together. I'll be back. <laughs> 